Hello my soccer universe, yes it's the day of the round of 16 starting and I decided I have a little spare time on my hands. Let's do a little bit what they call America bracketology. Let's analyze the bracket a little bit and then I thought I'll do something fun and give you... I initially thought I'd do two fun things but then it was all, all, all only one. The, first, uh, the real fun thing I thought is yeah. Let's uh, do the bracket in terms of my favorite bands from each country. A uh, problem is in the upper half of the bracket, it's rather thin, whereas the lower part of the bracket is totally loaded with great uh, stuff from my part. So yeah, that went out of the window <laughs> rather quickly. I would have to, there were a few games that couldn't, in my opinion, couldn't even have been played. Belgium, Portugal. For instance, I know the. I mean, Belgium probably would win this one, but yeah. Uh, in any case, I decide then to give you my dream result of that bracket sure to go wrong. I also decided let's go a little bit uh, off the beaten path and wear an outsider jersey with Sweden, one of the less heralded teams in this uh, tour to a tournament. Um, but I think the reasons will become apparent during this tournament. So yeah. Round of 16 starts today, um, and here is the bracket. I, we have I had it already in my last uh, video, but I think it's worth talking a little bit more about it. I mean, it's very, very clear from the get-go that the upper half is loaded. And this is now for the third tourna big tournament in a row. When I say big tournament, I do not want to... Uh, discard that, yeah, there exists the Africa Cup of Nations, there uh, is of course the Copa uh, America and so on. Those are all big continental tournaments, but uh, since I'm in Europe, for me, uh, I'm always thinking in, you know, World Cup Euros, World Cup Euros, those are clearly to me better tournaments. And yes, I also realize that there's a Copa America going, going on, one where I have a little bit of trouble following it because I think this should not have been played this year in uh, because of the situation going on in South America. And just look at the Venezuelan team that basically has to play the C squad in many ways. And when there's a Euro tournament going on, this takes all my attention and I barely can watch the Copa America and they really scale in, su in such a way that I am barely watching it. I might do here and there a little re a review now that the knockout stage is approaching. I might be a little bit more interested, but uh, the Copa America is one of those tour to to tournaments that I always they have this has this ring to it. But this time around, it doesn't. It feels like wrong to play it. So that's why I, and to be honest, and it's mostly because I can watch it, I enjoy the Africa Cup combination most of the times more, jersey wise, for sure. But yeah, here is, as I said, the bracket. It is very loaded, third tournament, big tournament in a row for me. We had Euro 2016, the upper half was loaded, uh, the one where France was coming come, come, come through, where, you know, Italy had to beat Spain, Germany, then Italy, then France beat uh, Germany. And then Portugal beat France, and Portugal had a uh, relatively soft path there. I mean, the, I would say the hardest opponent to beat for them was already in the first round, um, the Croatia. Then I think they beat Poland in a penalty shoot, and then Wales. So, you know, compare that to France, who had to go through Ireland. Yeah, Iceland, okay, maybe not, but you know, the, the upper half was low. The World Cup, it was even more so. I mean, France had to go through Argentina, then they had to beat Uruguay, then they had to beat Belgium before they met Croatia in the final. Croatia went through Denmark, nothing against Denmark, not a big opponent, Russia, nah, and then England, and England probably should have made it to, to, the, to the final given how their route played out. So again, upper half loaded, and I think it's basically down to seeding uh, UEFA and FIFA relying a little bit too much on their ratings or not applying them correctly. Uh, teams using that in the hope of getting some, something easier and then you get something that lopsided, which um, I think will make interesting watch here and there, but there are always a, th a few throwaway games that you don't want to have. And I think it also will lead very nicely into, uh, you know, I mean, this tournament is not behind a paywall for, for me, but I think soon or later we will have that the Euros are behind a paywall. And that the games that you give away for free are then not the big matchups like Belgium, Portugal. No, you throw a Sweden, Ukraine to the masses and get everyone hyped about that. 
And then if you want to see the big game, pay up. In any case, I would say, um, so upper half is loaded and it is really interesting. I think that uh, Italy and France are probably the two best sides in there. We, um, Portugal and Belgium are right behind and they play each other. I think this is one of the big matchups, but I think none of these... I honestly think that Italy, also given that they have a relatively easy opponent in Austria uh, and that they more rest, this could play a big part in uh, beating what whoever Belgium or Portugal will play because that game has overtime written all over it. In a way, I'm hoping that one. Now, speaking of Italy, Austria, this is Austria's first knockout game since 1954, played on the 26th of June of 1954 against Switzerland, the most uh, uh, most goal field game in World Cup history, a 7 5 win for Austria. Uh, if you have never seen, I mean, this is common Austrian lore around here, at least among the um, ones that know his history. This is an amazing game just to watch the highlights. Uh, I think Switzerland was up within, they scored three within three minutes and Austria came back three within three, three minutes. They took a lead five, four at the half or something like that and then they run around seven, five minutes. Absolute cra crazy game in immense heat. Uh, the Austrian goalie had a heat stroke. Uh, I think a Swiss player had a heat stroke. Um, one of those uh, that will live, that should, will and should live on in memory, in memory forever. So this is one of the good omens that Austria is playing. The other uh, was, yeah, we have nothing to lose. I honestly think that Italy will just run a riot over Austria. Um, and I would be hoping for that because as much as I'm Austrian, I said it before and you know, if Franco Foda now figures out that actually there is a better way to play with Austria and he goes down that route, I will be the first one to say, okay, I I was wrong and maybe I was too critical about it. I just don't see it and I actually think I still wanna have a better coach for this national team and for that to happen, Austria needs to be thrown out of the tournament without any chances. It will not happen, to be honest, because the minimal goal was reached, or the goal as they proclaimed it. So yeah, um, and spoiler alert, I want Italy to win this tour to tour tournament. So I'm literally more for Italy in this one than Austria, despite Austria being my home country. Enough of this. So, but Italy and France have an easier uh, way in the round of 16, at least on paper, which I think will favor them a little bit in the quarterfinals. Uh, Croatia, Spain, I think is an tricky one because the way Spain has been playing and Croatia has been playing, they both have not been too convincing. On a regular day, Spain should beat them, but remember 2016, mm -hmm, last group game, that completely ruined the bracket. If Spain would have won that group, they would have actually Spain and Portugal in there, but I think that the whole bracket would have been a little bit more balanced, I always felt. But you know, in the end, I think it turned out all right. Um, so yeah. So despite my projections, of course, favoring Belgium because of the really good rating that they get everywhere, I actually think that Italy has a good chance of beating Belgium. Um, and then France, I have a feeling that although France is so heavily favored um, by everyone, I have a feeling that they, they will falter at the stage. I have a feeling that France will not make it to the final. Maybe it's just Belgium there. Going to the lower part, Sweden, Ukraine, the matchup that everyone is looking forward to. Um, I only see Sweden winning this one because they are the much more complete team than Ukraine is, although Ukraine could cause a little upset. However, it the big one in this one is England against Germany. Um, and to be honest, I think whoever wins that one has a very, very clear path to the final. Uh, I think I'm not uh, saying anything new here. It's for me really hard to call that one. With home field advantage, England is given uh, quite the advantage here, uh, but it's Germany. And I don't know what they will do. I also am curious of how they will play against each other. Uh, the Netherlands and Czech Republic is also one of those. That's, I think it's deceivingly tilted towards the Netherlands. The Czechs always had the number of the Dutch. 
so I wouldn't say that either. And then I think the feel-good match between Wales and Denmark is also the first one. I think that will be an interesting one to see. Uh, but I, 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 I will agree that the Danes are going going forward. Uh, I talked a lot about that the qualifying in Rome will be one of those key ma ma matchups, especially for England. Well, now with Spain gone there, uh, England has a cl pretty clear path. I mean, Sweden, if England makes it to that quarterfinal and whoever they play, they will be heavily, heavily favored. And I could see them well going on and then really playing the tournament at, at home. Uh, the Dutch beating Denmark as I have it here is maybe on paper. Um, mm -hmm. I am not so sure. I think the Danes have everything to beat the Dutch, to be honest. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Danes make it to the semifinal to play against England uh, or Germany for a for, 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 for the meta. Uh, I just see England and Germany much better than the rest in this tournament. I don't think the Dutch have been all that convincing overall. Again, I will be the first one to uh, admit that I was wrong. I just don't quite see it yet. And so, yeah, uh, maybe the Belgium-England final at the moment doesn't look all that bad. But yeah, my key matchups really are... I don't think Belgium-Portugal will be an interesting game. It's probably the best game of the round. But I think the key match matchup here is England against Ger uh, Germany. And then in the quarter 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 final, I think the Belgium, Italy or whoever, the Munich, the Munich one, I think that will be an interest, interesting one. And uh, from there, we see where it will go. So, my prediction, absolutely my prediction now. So here is the bracket. Bear, as you will see it now for most of the, tu uh, the, the tournament. And for Belgium Portugal, this is now who I want to win. Honestly, in this one, I don't really have a favorite. However, Portugal has been winning so much that I think I want to give Belgium at least a chance that to have their golden generation do something. And uh, the whole look, uh, who is better at this tournament, Lukaku v Ronaldo. I think Lukaku will go through. But I think it will be a pen pen shot. I'm actually ho ho hoping a little bit for pen shot. I said already, Italy, Austria, I want Italy to go through. Yes, yes, I'm a traitor, but I want Italy to go through. France, Swiss, Switzerland, I'm sorry if Austria is uh, being uh, eliminated. I, I could not stand if Switzerland would do anything against France. Uh, and I actually like France. So I want to see France at least a little bit deep in the tournament. However, I really would like to see Croatia beating Spain. Just to, I think what's, and I, uh, Luis Enrique, I think, does a, lo a, lo a lot of right things, but I think that this will be a whole rethink in Spain. You need to get away from this tiki taka da da da. Spain was the mo one of the most boring teams to watch, so I don't want to see anything of Spain any anymore. And yeah, I have a streak going. Sweden, Ukraine, yeah, I, it's not, I, I know Sweden is not all that exciting as well as is Ukraine, but I'm going to go Sweden on that one. I think I want to do that. Uh, although, uh, Shevchenko? Scored the first two Euro goals for you, Ukraine against Sweden. So maybe, maybe, maybe. It will also be in interesting how they will match up in jerseys. Sweden in all yellow against Ukraine in all blue. That's what I'm saying, I think. England against Germany. You know what I want? I not only want to have a 2 2 game, with a uh, 3 3 game. 2 2 after regulation and 3 3 with a contentious German equalizer. And then I want England to go through on penalties. That would be my wish for that one. Uh, Netherlands, Czech Republic. Um, you know, the Dutch are one of my favorite teams in there. I cannot uh, want anything else there, despite uh, not being happy with Frank de Boer. And Wales, Denmark, I really love the Danish story. So Denmark going through there. Um, I think I would love to see that. Also, uh, Netherlands, Netherlands against Denmark would be nice. Uh, no surprise, I want Italy, and I think even that Italy will beat, uh, would beat a Belgium team uh, to go through. Uh, and France over Croatia, the, you know, new World Cup final replayed again and again and again and again. Um, I want to see that one, and I will think that France will once again prevail to set up a um, replay of the 2006 final and the Euro 2000 final, and one of the bigger rivalries in uh, Europe. Sweden against England. Honestly, when I look at those two qu uh, quarterfinals, uh, while an England versus Netherlands matchup sounds really, really tasty, I actually think there's one match matchup that I would like a whole lot more. I think I would like Sweden to get revenge over England and Sweden into the semifinals. 
yes, I'm sorry, but I think I, I like uh, this, honestly, this quark or confound, when I would, would have done my favorite band of my heavy metal bracket, this would be the clash of the titans for me. And yeah, this would be a tough, 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 tough ask. Uh, I probably would... I could not say if I take my favorite bands from Sweden, my favorite bands from uh, England. Probably Sweden just about edges it. In any case, um, I think I would like Sweden to go 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 through. Uh, my father will not like it, but my mother was born in Sweden, so you know, there you go. Uh, and I'm wearing a Sweden jersey for that reason. And the other thing is, I'm going really against the grain here. I really would love to go Denmark go through. I always said it before. I think there's a good chance that we'll see an outsider team not only in the final but probably even winning it. And. If we have Sweden in the semi-final, I want Denmark to, to be there too, because there's another huge rivalry that will just ignite everything there. Uh, I would love to see that, honestly. Uh, that Scandinavian semi-final would be awesome. Absolutely awesome. However, nothing against it it Italy, France. I think Italy should uh, get one over uh, France and move on to the final. And then, Will the Denmark story prevail or will Sweden prevail? I choose the story, but not the one that you think of. Sweden into the final. Sweden overcoming. They need to get real. They need to uh, deserve a final after in their home country they could not get to the final. And then we have Italy, Sweden. Sounds interesting. What is, the, is there a story be between those two? Oh yes, World Cup qualifying 2018 and Italy will get revenge. That would be my ideal bracket. Hit me with it. What would you like to see? Uh, I actually think, um, I actually do not feel that bad of picking Sweden over England because the way I said it, England would have beaten Germany in a penalty shootout. So England fans will already be kind of be happy with that, I think. And you can though go over Sweden, over the last two to, to Sweden. But yeah, I uh, when I saw the saw, saw, saw bracket, the one the first thing that stuck out with me was that Sweden against Denmark semi-final is possible. We have a Scandinavian team in there. I think that would be pretty, pretty cool. And as I said, uh, I am have fallen hard for Italy in this tournament and I don't think they will win it, but I would love to see them winning it. So, it's not a tip, it's my dream. I don't want to, you saw my projection from my model, um, I don't want to give you my, because it's just bound to fail anyway. And uh, you probably know, uh, if you have been watching my videos, you probably know anyway how I'll be going. But I would be interesting, what would be your dream to go? And yes, I'm not picking Austria to go all the way. In any case, let me know what you think, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.